Hey Star Wars fans, how you doing? My name is John and welcome back to another Star Wars item review. This episode I'll be reviewing the Interactive RTD2. This actually unit was lent to me by a good friend of mine, Willie. He's got a great YouTube channel called Arcade USA. I'll put a link below. As well as a fellow podcaster of mine. We have a, gr a really fun uh, gaming podcast called ColecoVisions. And I'll put a link below, below to that as well. You can check it out. But he was talking to me. He said, John, I want you to review this item I have. My wife bought it for me, he said. And, and I, I, I knew about this item when it came out. It's really cool. This particular one looks like, judging by the copyright in the box, 2002. Initially retail for $200. I believe they go on Amazon still for about 160 or so. I've seen it as low as 130 for sale on Toys R Us or, Am or Walmart, for example. The box today is actually a lot different than this box. This one has a flap. It opens up. It talks about the unit. It has 40 voice commands that can actually uh, tell what you're saying and, and go by that. It also has a motion sensor. It can, has like a heat sensor too, so it can actually seek you out. It's pretty advanced. It don't, the downer about it is it takes four D batteries, it takes four AA batteries. So it's definitely uh, eats up a lot of batteries. And the batteries are not included when you, when you get this, so keep that in mind. Another thing, it has these flaps here in the front. And these flaps are kind of hard to open, I've noticed. Uh, and this one actually has a little piece here. Let me pull it out for you. I have fat fingers, so it's kind of tricky for me to uh, take this out, but I got managed to get it. And this top right here comes off. And actually, the piece hooks up like this. And it plays like that, so it kind of has a telescope as well. There's stickers here. I don't know if you can tell there's stickers here. Um, but this doesn't go automatically up and down, unfortunately. Uh, this close, this flap right here, again, kind of hard to open up. Maybe because of my fat fingers, but this actually can hold uh, like beer bottles, stuff like that. He actually makes a noise when you do that when you turn them on. Speaking of which, when, to turn them on, he has a flip right here. Let me turn them on real quick. You can see he uh, he turns his, his dome, which is cool. And the command to do the command, you gotta say, "Hey R2, hey R2, speak up." Now this particular unit, he's very very stubborn. Um, I'm not sure why. Let me just turn him off real quick because um, he's gonna keep doing that if I talk. Um, this particular one is is kind of stubborn, and I was contacted Willie about it. I can't get him to go forward or anything like that uh, on his own. I think it, I'm, I know I'm doing the commands correctly, so I think it's this particular unit. So. Uh, just because this one doesn't work doesn't mean they're all going to work. The other thing I want to notice is these legs are really hard to put on. Not only that, they're really tough to get off. I mean, really tough. So if you want to repackage it, you almost feel like you're breaking the thing trying to tear these legs off. They're definitely on there. And, and this is where the batteries flip into. Another thing I want to point out is that this, when you automatically turn it on, you'll see that this lights up. And that means that he's not going to be able to move uh, forward. So he can do beeps and boops, but he's not going to move forward. If you want that, you can just push this right there, and it goes off, and he'll do that. So let me, he's on right. Hey, R2, do you remember Darth Vader? So you're supposed to say, hey, R2, do you remember Darth Vader? See, he, he remembers Darth Vader. Now he's kind of upset. Hey, R2, command mode, turn around. So he's supposed to he's supposed to turn around. He doesn't. He's he's stubborn. This one's stubborn. And you can say reset system, reset system, reset system. Hey R two, game mode, dance program. Now this one is kind of sad because I talked about Darth Vader. So you can tell he's kind of slow. I got him kind of upset mood. Or two, I bummed him out. But let me compare it to hey, reset program. Hey, R2, game mode, dance program. See, now he's more happy. I reset him. So you see there's a difference in that? That's kind of a hidden Easter egg. There's other Easter eggs too uh, in this. You can make him follow you, which you can follow you around the room. You can play hide and go seek. There's other things you can do as well. Let's check this out. Hey, R2, play message. See how that lights up? Hey, R2, go on patrol. And then he goes on patrol. He's going to move around the whole room. Now, there's some sensors here that when you bump into things, you can tell if he bumps onto things. So you can see it's pretty cool, actually. And as a, you know, the kid, I think these are really cool for kids. Now, my, uh, my boys, our twin boys, are eight-month-olds. It's funny because I, I demonstrated this in front of them. One freaked out, 
hated it, was crying, scared the hell out of him. The other one, I actually really enjoyed it, thought it was really funny and laughed. And so, yeah, so I guess you kind of have to be careful with young, young babies because they, they might freak out uh, around this thing. Uh, my dog was kind of freaking around this thing too, but this is a really cool item. I think it's, it's very unique. It's very well built. Uh, I kind of pointed out some things I don't really care for it, including the legs being hard to take off, um, you know, this button automatically being set so it doesn't move. Um, I don't really like the way this is set up. We have to take this off. But those are all kind of minor things. You know, the battery thing also is, is an issue with taking four D batteries and four AA batteries. But those are all minor. Uh, and overall, I think it's a really cool piece. If you're a Star Wars collector and you like Star Wars, R2 is one of my favorite characters. This is definitely uh, something you should check out. And you can pick it up for less than 150 bucks. Definitely do so. And there's other game modes you have. Let me just read some of the other ones. There's light tag. There's room guard. You can guard your room. There's a dance program, Spin a Droid, Answer This. You can kind of like a, a, a eight ball. You can ask him questions and he'll, he'll respond. You can ask him if he remembers different characters, like I, I showed Darth Vader. You can ask him about Princess Leia, stuff like that. You can tell him to speak up. Let me ask him to speak up. Let me turn it on. Hit this button. Hey, R2. Hey, R2. Speak up. Hey, R2. Speak up. See? Hey, R2. Speak up. Hey, R2, speak up. So this one is very stubborn. I've had it where you say speak up, and he'll he'll speak up, make a whole bunch of noise and stuff. So I think it's this particular unit. Uh, unfortunately, I think they're, maybe the sensors are a little off. But Willie, I really appreciate you lending me this. It's a really cool item. Definitely recommend checking it out as a Star Wars fan. Definitely check it out. Please, guys, if you want to stay in touch, follow me on Facebook, Twitter. I'll put those links below. I appreciate you guys subscribing as always. Let me know what you guys think about this item. What other droids would you like to potentially see Hasbro uh, distribute? I'd like to see maybe R5-D4. I think, uh, you know, a C-3PO, if they can make one that walks around, that'd be pretty sweet as well. Even one of those droids, like the Death Star droid, that those things that move around, that'd be pretty cool, like a remote control. That'd be awesome. So that's just my two cents. Thanks, guys, as always. We'll see you guys soon. May the Force be with you. Take care.